Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist. In this video, I'll demonstrate two gentle ways to manually release a tight psoas muscle. I'll start with a brief overview of the psoas and then jump right into these two techniques. The psoas major is a deep muscle that originates on the vertebra of the lumbar spine, connects to the pelvis by joining the iliacus muscle, and inserts into the femur just below the hip joint. Its location in the body is unique and its function is complex. Located deep in the center of the body, it connects the upper body to the lower body across multiple joints. Also, it lies at an angle in all directions, so it's active in all three planes of motion, from front to back, side to side, and rotationally. And it performs multiple functions. It's both an active hip flexor and a lumbar spine stabilizing muscle. It works in close conjunction with other muscles in the lumbar spine, abdomen, pelvis, and hips. Frequently, it becomes tight in response to muscle imbalances, overuse, emotional reactions, and postural habits, such as sitting for long periods of time. Tightness in the psoas can cause pain in the lumbar spine, the sacroiliac joints, and the hips. We have more power than we think to change our bodies and improve our health. In this video, we'll be using breath as the catalyst for change. Breath is a very powerful tool for improving overall blood flow, circulation in the body, and resetting the nervous system. It also helps to release tension and tightness from muscles and other soft tissue throughout the body. These two gentle yet powerful techniques will use breath to help release tension and tightness in the psoas. The first technique is passive, and then we'll progress to an active technique. Both of these techniques will be done lying down, so find a comfortable place to rest using a low to medium height pillow for head and neck support. First, lie comfortably on your back with low to medium height pillow support. Bend your knees so that they're about hips distance apart and feet flat on the bed. Now, finding the psoas muscle can be a little tricky, so I'll give you some directions to help you find it on your own body. Since the psoas muscle lies deep below the organs in your gut, it can be difficult to assess directly through the abdomen, but we can find it by following its pathway along the edge of the pelvis. So the first thing we'll do is, if you can find or feel where your belly button is and go over to the side of your waist to the top of your pelvis. Using your index and middle fingers, Find the, the top edge of your pelvis, the iliac crest of the pelvic bone. Now run your fingers forward along the ridge of the pelvis. From here, run your fingers along the inside of the pelvic ring. So you're pressing down into the abdomen, but into the side of your pelvis. Now as you're working to find the psoas muscle, be very gentle. There are a lot of tender tissues in this area that may not want to be pressed on. So listen to your body. If you feel any sharp shooting pain, then stop right away. You're likely pressing on something other than the psoas muscle. Now once you've run your fingers along the front of the pelvis and gently down into the pelvic ring, rest your fingers there. To check if you're on the psoas muscle, very gently lift one knee up in the air very gently, just an inch or two off the floor. Now you should feel the muscle pop up into your fingers if you're on the psoas. So you may need to move around a little bit in order to feel that muscle pop up into your finger when you lift your knee up in the air. Okay. I recommend doing the release on one side at a time. So while I'm showing you how to find the psoas on both sides, once you begin the release, only do one side at a time. Now be sure that the, your pressure in this area is gentle. It may feel a little bit intense, it may even feel ticklish, but again, it should not be painful. Okay, with your fingers resting gently on the psoas, let's do three relaxing breaths to help the tissue get ready for the release. These breaths should be medium depth. Deep breathing in this position will push your fingers right off of the psoas muscle. So keep the breaths medium depth. So go ahead and gently close your eyes or find a spot on your ceiling where you can maintain a soft, comfortable focus. Inhale through the nose and then exhale through the mouth. 
relaxing the muscle as you exhale. Inhale through the nose, breathing fresh oxygen and blood right into this area. And then exhale, relax, blow out any tension or tightness. And one more breath, inhale through the nose. And exhale through your mouth, letting it all go, blowing it all out. Okay, now let's do the passive release technique. If you need to take a break and rest your fingers, shake it out a little bit, that's just fine. Go ahead and run your fingers along the front of your pelvis and then gently dive deep down inside the pelvic ring till you find the psoas muscle. Again, to double check you're in the right spot, gently lift the leg up an inch or two and then press, bring it back down. For the passive technique, with your fingers gently on the psoas muscle, we'll inhale through the nose, breathing fresh air right into the psoas muscle underneath the fingers. Again, keep the breath medium depth. And now as you exhale, gently press your fingers into the psoas muscle. Imagining your fingers gently releasing, relaxing, and pressing out any tension or tightness that is being held in the psoas muscle. And now relax the pressure with your fingers slightly so that you're barely touching the muscle. Inhale through the nose to bring in fresh blood, fresh oxygen. And as you exhale, gently press your fingers farther into the muscle. And now release the pressure so that you're just gently touching the muscle. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Gently press into the muscle. Good. After three breaths, go ahead and relax. I suggest starting with three breaths, working up to five breaths as you get used to this technique. Five breaths is about the maximum I would recommend. This can be a tender area. This is a tender tissue and a tender area to work. We don't want to overdo it. Now let's move on to the active release technique. Once again, find the psoas muscle by running your fingers along the edge of the pelvis and then gently diving down into the pelvic ring. Now we'll start again with an inhale through the nose, bringing fresh air, fresh oxygen right into that area. Just a medium breath. Now this time as you exhale, gently press into the muscle and slowly lower the leg, running your foot and your heel along the surface. Straighten your leg out fully and then relax your leg and release the pressure from the muscle, just so that you're gently touching it. Take one breath here, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Great, now gently lift your leg back up to the starting position, running your foot along the bed. And we'll do that again. Breathe in through the nose, bringing fresh oxygen and blood to the tissues. And as you exhale, gently press into the muscle and slide your leg out, fully straightening the leg and then letting it relax on the bed. And release the pressure on the muscle. Take another cleansing breath. And slowly lift your leg back up to the starting position. And let's do another breath. Breathe in through the nose bringing fresh air right to that psoas muscle. And as you exhale, gently press into the muscle and slowly slide your leg out. Let your leg fully extend and relax. And then slowly release the pressure on the muscle. Fully relax, take another deep cleansing breath here.
I suggest starting with three breaths of the active release technique. Build up to five breaths if that feels comfortable for you. I recommend doing the release techniques three times a week. Mild stretch discomfort and some muscle soreness or activation would be normal with the release techniques, but you shouldn't feel any sharp shooting pain or any bruising sensation. If you do, definitely rest for a few days and then try again once that soreness has completely gone away. And that wraps up this video on psoas release. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Once you've done the psoas release and you feel like you're ready to move on to the next steps of psoas lengthening and regional strengthening to improve overall balance through your low back and pelvis and hips, then go ahead and move on to my lengthen and strengthen video. The link to that video is in the description below. You may also benefit from some of my other videos focused on low back, pelvis and hips. You'll find links to my video playlists also in the description below. I hope you find this video helpful to get back to doing the things you love to do every single day. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.